Hi everyone! So today's video, um, I'm going to compare each one of these planners, so a Filofax, a Webster's Pages Color Crush, and then a Kiki K, all in personal sized, um, and just show you how each planner is different and talk about the pros and cons of each. Uh, this video, I'm not going to be talking about inserts because I have a flip through of the Kiki K and I also have a flip through of the um, Webster's Pages, and then I think everyone knows what comes with the file effects, just the regular um, week on two pages, the grid paper, the colored paper, the to-dos, the contacts, and then the holidays. So if you don't, that's what comes in that. Uh, yeah, so let's start with my Finsbury, because this was my first planner. Um, I got her, this is a Finsbury uh, personal file effects in the color raspberry. I got her last May for my high school graduation present. Um, she has this big pocket right there and then these all these little um slots so six slot card holder slots and then a big pocket in the back with a zip um i left one of my charms on there because it's impossible to get off so yeah just a zip in the back and then she has a um leather pen loop can you guys see that yeah leather pen loop um I did use this for a year straight, so she does have signs of wear, like you can see where she it's starting to, um, the leather is starting to discolor and stuff, and um, I would say this, this happened, like the discoloring started happening pretty quickly. Um, I got her in May, and I think probably by August I noticed that she was getting discolored. But that being said, I did have her in my purse like 24-7. I carried her everywhere, um, nannying to the beach, everywhere. I carried this thing everywhere. So I think that's why she's discolored. However, I, I'm not happy that it was discolored. It was, I think, a $70 planner. So I think it should have lasted maybe a little bit longer. But yeah, that's the Finsbury. And there's the rings. Um, I had a little bit of an issue with this one gapping. I don't know if you guys can see see that it gaps just a little bit but um yeah other than that i did like this planner i do love it but um i think that the kiki k is better so let's get on with that um here's the webster's pages color crush and then i don't know if this has a color i think it's deep pink i didn't see it anywhere on the packaging um that it had a color but yeah this again has the snap closure just like the finsbury and then um, on the spine it has Webster's pages, and on the back it doesn't have anything, it's just blank. Um, yeah, inside you have this big pocket up here, which the back is like this um, black material, and the white is this, or the, uh, the other part is this white like um, vinyl, just like the outside of the planner. This is not a leather planner. The other two planners are leather. This one is a faux leather. I'm not exactly sure what material this is, but it's not leather. Um, yeah, here's a little, one little pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom, and then here are two other business card pockets. And then on this side, there is another two two more business card pockets, and then a big um, pocket. And again, the lining is black with the white on the um, other parts. And then this one, instead of having a leather pen loop, this one actually has an elastic pen loop, which I liked better because in my Finsbury, this planner, I could never, I only found two pens that fit in the pen loop. Um, and even then, I was kind of worried about them sliding out or getting stuck and stuff. So I, I do really like that this planner has um, an elastic pen loop. And this planner was, I think... $34 originally. I got it at Joann's, so I got it on sale for like, um, I think it was 40% off when I purchased it, plus I had like a $5 off 25 coupon, so it ended up being a really good deal. Like, I think it was like $18, so yeah, that's why I got it. I didn't use um, this planner for very long, maybe like two weeks, um, because I ended up getting this Kiki K like right after this planner, so um, yeah, I didn't really use it for that long. However, I did notice that it is um, nicked up right at that corner. Um, and I think that's the only place. But yeah, it is nicked in one spot already. Um, I do think that if I had longer nails, I could have like dug my nails into this by accident. Um, so I don't know if it's as sturdy, like the material as, as is as sturdy as these two, obviously, which are leather. But that makes sense because it's not leather. Um, I think for I think it's a good little planner for the price. So yeah, um, 
And then I'm gonna do a ring comparison between all three planners at the end. So moving on, here's the Kiki K. This one has the um, K um, detail on the button closure, or the snap closure. And then it has, not on the spine, but this one has Kiki K in like gold lettering at the bottom of the planner. Um, yeah, so again, snap closure. And then you open it up. This one has um, like fabric. The other two had like faux leather, and then the Finsbury had like a really like slippery fabric, if that makes sense on the inside. But this one has like fabric fabric, like clothing fabric on the inside, and it's this black and white stripe or um, chevron pattern. And then this also has an elastic pen loop, which I am fond of, instead of the um, leather pen loop. And then it has this pocket in the back. Um, and then it has this big pocket up here, and then this one here, and then this one. So, um, I think I like this, these pocket setups, or this pocket setup of this planner more than the other two. Like, this is my favorite one. But again, I think they're all pretty nice. Um, and then it has this, it does have this pocket in the back here, which is, it goes all the way down, and it came with a list pad, which was here. Like, you can stick the back of the list pad, and it'll sit in your planner. Um, but I took that out because I didn't really like the one that came with the Kiki K. Um, so I made my own, but I took that out for the video. I took out all my inserts so you guys could see. Um, this one does have a yellow, or um, not a yellow, it has gold rings instead of the silver. The other two do have silver. This one has gold. Um, I do like that it's gold with the yellow. Like, I think that's a nice touch. So, yeah, I do like that. Um, I guess we can go on to the ring closures now, the ring sizes. So see, if you look this way. So these are in the order of um, planners that I talked about. So the key, maybe like that would be best. So you can see this is the, the back of this is the yellow um, Kiki K. The middle is the um, Color Crush, Webster's Pages Color Crush. And the front is the Finsbury. I think that the Finsbury is the smallest and then they just move up in order. So Finsbury is the smallest, then um, the Webster's Pages and then the Kiki K. I do really, really like the Kiki K. Um, um, rings because they are so big and I that I like a stuffed planner so I do really like the rings um yeah other than that those are just the differences and the pros and cons in my opinion um I think if you were going for the best value for your money you would want to go with this one this Webster's Pages Color Crush in any color which are now available at Joann's and then but I think if you were going for like um sturdy and like a long-term planner i do think that the kiki k in yellow would be a good option um i've only had this for maybe like two weeks or something so far so i don't know how this will get discolored but it just the leather feels like more rigid so it won't get discolored like the um file of facts did so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is part three and the last part of this yellow kiki k um series that I was doing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, and comment if you want to. I'll see you guys later. Bye!